All right, hello. This is a blind reaction to the new item system update and game ruining, ruining behavior video by Riot, please. And uh, I'm just gonna click play, full screen hey, it. Safe locked here on behalf of the lead team. So let's recap. What's happened in League since last update? A few keynotes. Season starts kickoff. The fiddlesticks. And Volibear's updates. The Fiddlesticks the update was really cool. And now, Yone's grand return during the Spirit Blossom event. Now we definitely know which champions you date. Mm -hmm. We've also nearly finished releasing all the skins we promised for underserved champions earlier this year, with just three left for Nautilus, Orn. Ooh, and look at that. Wow. League still has more in store, like the guns. This poor Zareth has no the idea what's going on. <laughs> She'll be coming out in the PsyOps event next patch. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about our gameplay plans for preseason, which is about updating League's item system. Okay, now items. After that, we'll spend some time covering some of the recent work done towards curbing game ruining behavior. Oh, like like inters? Like people stop we inting into it, my we games? I just want to thank all of you for participating in the COVID-19 charity fundraiser. Players all over the world came together and raised over $2 million for global pandemic relief. That's awesome. From all of us at Riot, thank you, thank you, thank you for helping make a difference in our communities worldwide. Now let's get into our gameplay plans for preseason. If you haven't heard, we're working on a complete overhaul to items in League of Legends. Complete overhaul? We've improved items and chunks over the years, but we've never really had the opportunity to take the time and do a full pass on the whole system at once. Uh huh. So going into the second decade of League, we want to make sure we're improving the foundations the game is built on. Yeah, yeah. And just modernizing them over time so they continue to feel high quality. As a part of the update, we're also going to create Ooh. a whole brand Okay, I saw these icons on PBE. I was playing on PBE yesterday uh, for TFT and they updated a lot of the item icons. Like this is supposed to be a needlessly large rod and I honestly could not... It looks like flowers to me. I, I don't know what was going on there. But this is what they're doing. Uh, I think the Rabadons looks cool. I do miss the, the two eyes it had because it kind of looked like it was from Harry Brand Potter. new shop interface that's easier to use and smarter about the recommendations. I, I really don't like this though. The good against, I think that's really bad because it sort of teaches be uh, just like people depending on the shop rather than like having some knowledge. Like I, I know like they want to simplify it and like make it easier for people to like play the game and that's perfectly fine but saying good against or like you know right it's, it's a little scuffed the biggest change we're making is the introduction of a new type of item called mythics mythics okay Mythic items are the cornerstone in your builds with big effects that define your playstyle from game to game each mythic also grants unique bonus stats to your other completed items so they shape your build even after their initial purchase. Oh, okay, that's kind of... You can only wield one mythic item at a time, so you'll have to make careful strategic choices when deciding which one to build. Alright, we got we got one for Singed. So let's look eh? at the Marksman mythics. Marksman, okay, so starting off with AC. Assassin's Burst or keep yourself alive when taking enemy fire, then Crimson Shield Bow will give you the sustain and defense. Alright, 50 AD, attack speed, crit, lifesteal, reduce, gives you a shield. Okay, so it's Phantom Dancer. Fence you mean. Or maybe you can trust your team to keep you alive instead of go all in on raw DPS with the new Behemoth Slayer. This gives you every third attack deals true damage based on AD. Okay, so Vayne W, sort of, but not percentage, all right? For the games where you need mobility to dodge incoming threats and reposition to make big plays, Gale Force is Oh, that was... Okay, so it gives... It, Jinx dashed right there. Incoming threats and reposition <laughs> to make big plays, Okay. Dash might be the tool a little bit of a dash. Beyond mythics, we're also assessing all 200 items in the current shop to ensure that they have a clear purpose, healthy gameplay, and are satisfying to use. For a lot of uh, remove zonias, it's annoying. Big items, they already hit this bar, so you can expect some classic items like Rabadon's death cap to remain nearly unchanged. For items that are falling a bit short, though, we'll keep their core identity intact, but update their design to meet the new standard. For example, Steric Gauge will be about burst defense still, but yeah. tied more clearly to his team fight strength. Oh, uh, so and like oh, cases, surrounded by champions, it's stronger, I assume. Salvage, overlaps you heavily with other options, or whose intended purposes can be better served in other ways. And so we'll be saying goodbye to a portion of the shop. 
but uh, he's not uh, so sure that those open spots will be put to good use. Can I get ZZ Rot back? We'll creating new items to fill gaps in the current system. I want ZZ Rot. Among other things, that means that. Oh, what is this? The target takes two percent of their max HP as magic damage every set. Wait, what? You gain twenty armor and four magic resistance every second while enemies are afflicted. Wait, yo, this is good on singed. This is a singed item. Two percent of their max HP is magic damage, so this is like a Leandri's burn. But also, the gaining the armor and magic resist is kind of crazy. This is like a more defensive, like conqueror. That's kind of ooh. Uh, yep, we're finally going to be marking items that are specifically designed for AP Bruiser champions, like the Cursed Demon Helm. All in all, you can expect about a Okay, third to be okay, I same, like this. A third to be similar but improved. That is a singed item right, right there. There's no way you don't pick that up as singed. Of you eyes glaze Unless, of course, it's like a better shop, item somewhere. This is the update for you. We're going to completely revamp both the recommended and all item shop pages. We I I still don't really like the good against. I think like if they said like, oh, this is really good against like heavy AD or something, not just flat against champions, because that's like, I don't know who's writing that. I know like recommended items have always been like not that great in the way that's like, you know, some like it doesn't change. Like the recommended items have always been like generally the same. So like. They recommend you get Morellonomicon first or something. It's kind of weird. It works sometimes, but like you know, obviously you have to depends on the game. So of item choices that if it's, if it's like a general guideline, then it's fine. Patch by patch I still think like the, the wording could be better though. The all items page is still for players who want quick access to as much of the shop as possible, and rely on muscle memory to purchase items quickly. Things won't move around game to game or champ to champ. But we'll highlight current popular items to make them easier to spot. Popular items. You can expect to see all okay. of these updates on PBE soon for an extended testing period, and be on the lookout for an article with more details soon. Okay. Intentional game ruining behavior has been a hot topic in the community recently. All right. And honestly, this is, this is about my mid laner, my Yasuo. In May, we hey, committed to Yasuo, a large, I'm looking at you right to now. Issues like champions locked griefing, inting, and AFKs. And so towards the first point, the first change we tested was champion select reporting and muting. Yeah. We wanted to give I players a real good. way to respond to game ruining behavior before loading into the game. Pretty quickly, we found that many reports were coming from players whose teammates banned the champion they were hovering. So we added a confirmed ban prompt. Yeah. You'll still be able to go through the ban if you want. Sometimes if you just really don't want to see a certain champion. Yeah, I almost, that's what I almost banned like two of my teammates. Because I was like, oh, I don't really want to play against this. I, I clicked the ban, and that would have banned their champion, but they have this window that pops up now. I think that's that's nice. But the prompt makes sure you know it's a champ your teammate wants to play, so you don't ban them by accident. We'll also hook champ select reports into our overall report management and post-game penalty system. I kind of want the, so the tribunal future, back. We'll expand that system to let us take action on champ select reports inside champ select. With that, we shifted our focus recently to address in-game behaviors like inting and AFK. Our automatic detection systems are now identifying these behaviors at almost twice the rate as before. <laughs> and we're working on more improvements to catch the ghost cleanse new now. <laughs> In addition to better detection methods, we're also exploring ways to sharpen the penalty system. And this may include things like stricter queue lockout times okay. and ranked LP penalties. Finally, OP we know it's impossible to stop this behavior entirely, which okay. is why we're looking into ways to at least make it less painful when it does happen. This includes improvements to the early surrender vote so you don't get stuck in a 4v5. And LP oh, you can surrender at three minutes? So for someone else's briefing. We know there's still more work to do. But I've had that happen. And so far, you wait and until 15 and it's just like, dude, space. what a waste of time. While we focus on League today, there's also a lot going on in the League overall universe. Okay, the anime starters, and stuff. We're just a few I'll see short weeks away the world start of our historic tenth world championship. Tenth? It's happening in China. That would be like ninth or eighth the right now. Ooh, it's been a while. An amazing experience for you all. And while you've already begun to see some of the content, we have a few more surprises in store. The latest set for Team Fight Tactics launches with. Patch I've been having fun with this TFT. In it, TFT Fates features a mythical fantasy world filled with all new champions, origins, classes, little legends, and arenas. 
Our friends on Legends of Runeterra recently released their latest expansion, Call of the, the Mountain, which adds yeah. Targon as a region along with seven new champions. Be on the lookout for more news later this year from the upcoming Riot Forge game, Ruin King, A League of Legends. I, I want that. Finally, I want to play that. It's an exciting time for our friends on Wild Rift, so be on the lookout for more news from I want to play some Wild Rift too. We hope you and your loved ones are staying safe. From all of us at I think Riot, Singed is on Wild Rift, actually. Don't, 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 you know, bet on that, though. Don't, don't say anything, okay? Alright, let's check the comments. That was good. That was good. Uh, I like the items. Uh, the new icons you have, it'll probably take a little bit of time to get used to. But the item rework is nice. There's a dog barking. This is going to be huge. Next preseason will be chaos, yeah. We're going to see a lot of just random stuff happening. Alright. Uh... Wave change? They spawn in the same time, plus some other stuff. Less time to roam, more laning. Okay. I th think that's fine. I think mid laners were almost like second junglers after a certain point, and it was really, really hard to stop them from like snowballing like crazy. So I think this is. I think this is fine. Hopefully it's not like way too huge. Obviously, like mid lane stuck mid lane is kind kind of sucks if your lane is losing or something and you can't get any help other than from the jungler. So, okay, we'll we'll, we'll have to see in the future what happens. Uh, please mess stuff up. Uh, some fun, insane, absurd stuff. Yeah, I I want them to like just add random nonsense on PBE. We can test it. You know, right? I I want them to see some crazy. Uh, I'm wondering how many items Ezreal will break. Oh god. Yeah, that's true. Ezreal, like, every, every like, new item that's, like, either AP or AD or something, like, Ezreal abuses it very, very well, because, like, range, spellcasting, you know, he doesn't die immediately, like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Please, no more Ezreals. Yeah, I think the item overhaul is very, very interesting. I, I definitely don't want to see more of it. So if this is just like a teaser, I'm I'm already excited, and I want to see that the new item on Singed. Uh, four stuff. Okay, that's Dota. Okay. Um, AD Proto Belt. Dash short distance, dealing damage to the lowest nearby enemy. Oh, a little bit of an execute. Okay. And then you also get 2% movement speed on... Oh, so this, like, empowers the other items you have. Like, if you have the Bloodthirst or Runons or whatever already, then it'll help with that. Okay, cool. Um, a lot of ACs have uh, a few problems with, uh, you know, sometimes either not getting the kill or just, like, getting di just dying. You know, what if you're Varus and you don't have Flash and someone jumps on you? <laughs> Yeah? Okay. Udyr can finally get on someone, true. Literally, Udyr has just ha four different types of auto attacks. Like, it's, you know, they need to help him. They need to help Udyr. This man is running around with a carpet on him. Like, what? A somebody help this Udyr. Give him more movement speed or something, I think. Maybe tenacity. More tenacity? Not just on his E? I don't know. Anyways. Um, okay. Yeah, mythic items. Overreaction comments go here. What? What is this? 400 CS, 24 minute myth, mythic one-shot tanks, L9 turbo boost, enemy team A. Is this like a clickbait title? What? <laughs> what is this? This is disgusting. 2x CS with China hacks and farm exploits still undetected in NA. <laughs> 400 CS fat fuck. Okay, well... <laughs> Alright, uh, Behemoth Slayer is absolutely insanity. I, I wanna see, is this the one that I said that is going to be great on Singed? I, I wanna see this, I wanna see this in play. Cause you get a lot of health and you got get 80 AP and that sounds really really good. Cause that's like perfect for Singed, he, he's an AP bruiser. I do want an AP item for, for Singed that gives him like resist or something. Or like more movement speed, like old Shirelias gave AP and the movement speed, and that was really good. But they removed the AP, it's more of a support item now. Makes sense, like obviously. I actually used to rush it. Um 
And that was that was on my climb to diamond last season. I would rush Shirelia's uh in some matchups cuz like I didn't need the resistance from like righteous glory movement speed. So I just went Shirelia's for AP and I I don't know. I I want more AP bruiser items, I think. I'm guessing it replaces Leandre's probably. Yeah. What is this? Oh, here's some items. I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is either. That, what is that? It's a thousand gold. I'm guessing these are new. That's, that's the claws from like season four. There's a storm razor. This is, I think this is on Howling Abyss. I can't really tell what that is. I... These are mythics. Okay, so all of these are like new. These are, like most of these will be like temporary icons. Like this is you know Leandre's is right here, and that's going to be the. What I already forgot the name. I'm sorry. Uh, the Rod of Ages reworked icon. I don't know what this is, but that it's like a green blob. <laughs> okay, well there's boots on the side. Very nice. Uh, attack speed boots for Syndra, yes. Uh, I think that's perfectly fine. <laughs> okay, well, I, I like how there's like a popular thing. I think that's good. Recommended all items and item sets. Item sets would be the ones that you make, right? And then the sorts, this is marksmen's to mages, supports, tanks, whatever. Filters, um, can you sort... Uh, I guess this is how they're going to sort it now, instead of like AD, AP, magic resist, armor, right? They're going to sort it by like section of like bruiser, AD bruiser, sort of marksman, mage, tank, support. Eh, I think it, it makes it easier for new players and it, it's definitely better than the old system where like you click on like, oh, I want armor and AP and then you lose like two items, like. What, why, you know? And no one actually, well, at least, like, m most people aren't using that, that system of, like, 30 billion tabs to find the item. They just, like, they know what item they want, or they're going to the recommended page, or they're following a guide. So I think this is better. Uh, definitely looking forward to this. I'm guessing this is, like, rarity, like, starter, and then, like, legendary, and then mythic, I assume? That seems to have a lot of items here. This this bar is really, really small. Hmm, interesting. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. There's the Andres. I guess that's the Mythic. Shadowbane, Cursed Demon Helm. I want it on Singed. I want it. I want to see it. I want to feel the the power that I have. Oh, God, on more that'll... Oh, ugh. Cosmic Skarner looks skin. Yeah, we saw that earlier. It was like blue and gold. I think that looks nice with the orbs and stuff. But, okay. Cool. Uh, I want to see, like, the orange skin was all, like, like flowery and stuff. That was cool. Uh, I definitely want to see this. This is this is a really, really cool update and uh, upcoming for the next season. So, I think that's great. Um, I'm, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, hey, if you enjoyed my random rundown of this video and reading Reddit comments, please let me know. And uh, yeah, uh, hit that like, hit that sub, roll the outro. Same music. I'll, I'll just, you know, I'm just here. This is this is going to be a temporary video. I'm not going to upload it on a regular day. I'll just upload it whenever. Uh, I'll probably upload it immediately as this finishes, like rendering or whatever. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a nice day. Uh, stay safe, drink water, and uh, pursue your dreams.